Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Martin Kuttner, and today I want to give you a small tour of our lab where we test the quality of cardiovascular stents. We have two stents under test. The big one is um, a permanent type, which uh, should not dissolve actually, and a small one is a degradable type, which should dissolve after some amount of time. And we test, so to say, on the first one, how stable is it is against corrosion, and on the second one, how good it actually degrades. To test the stent, we apply them into a silicon tube, like this, using a high pressure syringe. So to expand the, the stent a bit so it won't move anymore. The stand has to be applied to some kind of um, liquid or let's say solution. We don't use blood of course, we use uh, a Hengst balanced salt solution for this, which chemical properties are close to blood. It's not like blood, it's, but it's close. To apply the stand in a controlled way to the solution, we use uh, this setup here. Let's, let, let's explain how it works. First, we have a thermostat here to keep uh, the solution uh, on a constant temperature. Then the solution is pumped using this peristaltic pump, which creates a really constant flow rate inside of the system. If we want, for example, apply some uh, mechanical stress to the stand, we have also the opportunity to use a positing pump where we can uh, simulate or emulate as, as a, a heartbeat or and the blood pressure actually. But for this setup, we use the peristaltic one. The stand is applied here in this in this uh, small silicon tube. Here's the stand visible, I guess. And before and after, we have two pressure sensors. So to see if the stand, for example, if something clocks up or anything happens, we see a difference in the, in the pressure before and after. Here's a temperature sensor. Here's a sensor to measure the flow rate. And lastly, a pH sensor. We have to check the pH because the volume in the solution is not really, is not really big. Therefore, we have this uh, pH control unit and this unit can actually adjust the pH in both directions, so raise or lower it. In our case, the stents make the solution usually more alkalic, so the pH rises all the time slowly, and the, the control box adds some diluted hydrochloric acid using this solenoid to lower the pH uh, to the desired range. This setup runs actually by itself. It just needs power. Of course, we have um, a PC attached to just um, to have a look at the, at the parameters, if they drift away or if they stay constant. After the stents are tested, we need to examine them somehow. We use the simplest way would be to use just uh, optical microscopes so just have a look at them. We have also the opportunity to use um, a laser scanning microscope, or if we want to have a real close look, we can use one of our electron microscopes, where we have also BSD or EDX detectors. Um, to test the corrosion rate of the stand, especially the permanent types, because they co should not corrode really good, so this would take ages in the setup, we use an electrochemical cell. This cell consists all out of three electrodes. One is the working electrode, um, which is actually the stand. The second one is a platinum electrode, in this case uh, a platinum rod, and a reference electrode, which is, uh, com uh, consists out of uh, silver chloride. 
This electrochemical cell is attached to a potential stud and this device creates a constant potential between the working and the count electrode inside of the cell using the reference electrode as um, a set point, so to say. Then we change the we, uh, we change the potential, measure the current inside of the cell, cell change the potential, and do so um, a sweep over different potentials and measure the current. And if you plot the uh, the current, the logarithmic current over the potential, then we get a so-called Tafel curve. And uh, if we do some uh, approximation in the table curve, uh, we can get the corrosion rate of the stand. So, okay, I hope this tour was uh, interesting and if you have any questions, please ask them. Thank you for listening.